Born in 1863, Henry Ford went from humble beginnings as a farm boy to become one of the most successful businessmen of the early 20th century. Henry Ford was a man of many accomplishments and innovations, but his life was also marked by controversies and scandals that continue to be debated till this day. From his anti-Semitic views and support of Nazi Germany to his opposition to labor unions and strained relationships with his own family, Ford's legacy is a complicated and often divisive one. He revolutionized the automobile industry with the creation of the assembly line and mass production techniques, making the automobile accessible to millions of Americans. However, this history is not so bright. Henry Ford was born on July 30, 1863 on a farm in Greenfield Township, Michigan, which is now part of Dearborn. He was the second of eight children and grew up in a family that valued hard work and self-reliance. Ford had a natural talent for mechanics and engineering from a young age. When he was just 13 years old, he fixed a pocket watch belonging to a neighbor, which impressed the neighbor so much that he gave Ford a steam engine to work on. This sparked Ford's lifelong passion for machines and tinkering. In 1879, Ford moved to Detroit to work as an apprentice machinist, where he learned the latest technologies and manufacturing techniques. He continued to work in various engineering roles throughout his early adulthood, including as a machinist for Westinghouse and as an engineer for the Detroit Edison Company. During this time, Ford began experimenting with gasoline-powered engines and designed his own vehicles. In 1896, he built the first car, the Quadricycle, which was a simple four-wheeled vehicle powered by a gasoline engine. This was the beginning of Ford's journey to revolutionize the automobile industry and to make cars accessible to the masses. After years of experimenting with gasoline-powered engines and designing his own vehicles, Henry Ford founded the Ford Motor Company on June 16, 1903, with a group of investors. The company was initially based in a rented workshop in Detroit and had a capital investment of $28,000. The first car produced by the Ford Motor Company was the Model A, which was introduced in 1903. It was a simple car that could go up to 30 miles per hour and was powered by a two-cylinder engine. However, it was not a commercial success and was only produced for a year. In 1908, Ford introduced the Model T, which was a game changer in the automobile industry. The Model T was simple, reliable, and affordable, making it accessible to the masses. It was also designed for easy assembly, which made it cheaper to manufacture. One of the key factors that contributed to the Model T's success was Ford's implementation of the moving assembly line in 1913. This allowed for the efficient production of cars and reduced the time it took to build a car from 12 hours to just 1.5 hours. The cost of producing the car also dropped significantly, which allowed Ford to lower the price of the Model T and make it even more affordable for the average person. By 1924, Ford had sold over 10 million Model Ts and had become one of the wealthiest people in the world. However, Ford's dedication to creating affordable cars for the masses did not waver, and he continued to innovate and improve his designs throughout his career. One of the most significant contributions that Henry Ford made to the automobile industry was his introduction of the $5 workday in 1914. At that time, the standard wage for factory workers was around $2.50 per day, which was barely enough to make ends meet. However, Ford believed that if he paid his workers more, they would be able to afford the cars they were producing and this would ultimately benefit the company. Ford's $5 workday was a bold move which was met with skepticism by many business leaders at the time. However, it turned out to be a huge success. The higher wages attracted a lot of workers to Ford's factories which allowed him to increase production and reduce the turnover rate. It also had a positive impact on the wider economy as workers were able to afford more goods and services. The $5 workday was not just a gesture of goodwill on Ford's part. He also implemented a number of measures to ensure that his workers were productive and efficient. This included hiring private investigators to check up on workers and making sure that they were living a clean lifestyle. Despite these measures, Ford's workers appreciated the higher wages and the opportunity to improve their lives. Ford's $5 workday was not the only innovation he made when it came to his workers. He also introduced a number of other benefits, such as profit sharing and a pension plan, which were not common at the time. 
All of these measures helped to improve the lives of Ford's workers and set a new standard for labor practices in the automobile industry. During the 1930s and 1940s, Henry Ford continued to innovate and introduce new models, although the Great Depression and World War II had significant impacts on the automobile industry. One of Ford's most significant contributions during this period was the introduction of the V8 engine in 1932. This engine was more powerful and efficient than previous engines and helped to establish Ford as a leader in the industry. In 1935, Ford introduced the Model 48, which was a significant departure from the Model T. The Model 48 was sleek and modern and featured a powerful V8 engine. It was also one of the first cars to incorporate safety features, such as hydraulic brakes and a safety glass windshield. During World War II, the production of automobiles was largely put on hold as factories were retooled for war production. However, Ford played a significant role in producing military vehicles and equipment. The Ford Motor Company produced around 278,000 military vehicles during the war, including Jeeps, trucks, and tanks. After the war, Ford introduced a number of new models, including the Mercury and the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird was introduced in 1955 and was a significant departure from Ford's previous models. It was a two-seat sports car with a sleek design and powerful engine. The Thunderbird was hugely popular and helped to establish Ford as a leader in the sports car market. In the 1960s, Ford continued to innovate with models such as the Mustang, which was introduced in 1964. The Mustang was a hugely successful model and helped to establish the pony car segment of the market. However, by this point, Henry Ford had passed away and the company was being run by his grandson, Henry Ford II. While Henry Ford is remembered as a pioneering businessman and inventor, there were also several controversies surrounding his life and legacy. Here are a few examples. Anti-Semitism Henry Ford was known for his anti-Semitic views and beliefs, which he expressed publicly and in his writings. He was a supporter of the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, a notorious anti-Semitic hoax, and used his newspaper, the Dearborn Independent, to spread anti-Semitic propaganda. In 1927, Ford issued a public apology for his anti-Semitic writings and discontinued publication of the Dearborn Independent. Labor Relations Henry Ford was known for his opposition to labor unions and believed in the concept of welfare capitalism, which meant that workers would be treated well and given certain benefits, but would not be allowed to unionize. In 1937, Ford was involved in a violent confrontation between his security personnel and union organizers at the River Rouge plant in Michigan, which became known as the Battle of the Overpass. The incident received national attention and tarnished Ford's reputation. Nazi Sympathies there is some evidence to suggest that Henry Ford was sympathetic to Nazi Germany and the fascist movement in Europe. He was awarded the Grand Cross of the German Eagle by Adolf Hitler in 1938, and the Ford Motor Company's German subsidiary produced military vehicles for the Nazi war effort during World War II. However, it is unclear whether Ford himself was directly involved in these activities or simply had business interests in Germany. Treatment of his family Henry Ford was known for his difficult relationships with his family members, particularly his son, Edsel. Ford was highly critical of Edsel's management of the company, and their relationship was strained. After Edsel's death in 1943, Henry Ford took over as president of the company, but his management style was criticized by some as erratic and ineffective. Henry Ford's success with the Ford Motor Company made him one of the richest men in the world. By the time he died in 1947, he had amassed a personal fortune over $1 billion, which would be equivalent to over $14 billion today. Ford's wealth came from a combination of factors. Firstly, his innovative manufacturing techniques, such as the moving assembly line, allowed him to produce cars at a much lower cost than his competitors. This meant that he could sell his cars at a lower price and still make a profit. Secondly, the popularity of the Model T meant that Ford was able to sell huge numbers of cars which contributed to his wealth. In addition to his success with the Ford Motor Company, Ford was also a shrewd businessman in other areas. For example, he invested heavily in real estate and land, including buying up tracts of land in Brazil and the Amazon rainforest. He also invested in other companies and industries, such as the Edison Illuminating Company, which provided electricity to Detroit. Ford's immense wealth gave him a lot of power and influence, both within the automobile industry and in wider society. 
He was known for his strong opinions and beliefs, which he was not afraid to express publicly. For example, he was a vocal supporter of prohibition, the ban on alcohol, and was a strong opponent of labor unions. Despite his immense wealth and power, Ford was also known for his frugal lifestyle. He lived in a modest house, wore simple clothes, and was known for being careful with his money. However, he was also generous with his wealth and donated large sums of money to various causes, including educational and scientific research.